Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Are you the kind of person who sees the glass half empty or half full? We have a choice, a choice that confronts us in every experience of our lives. We may have no control over the things that come our way, over those circumstances, over those experiences, over those burdens, those trials, those tribulations, but we should be able to control our reactions. Listen to what the Lord says in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 19. Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to Him in doing good as to a faithful Creator. God is faithful, that passage of Scripture says, and we can trust Him to know what we're going through, to have us in the hollow of His hand, to be along beside us every step of, life, of life's way, and we can commit our souls, even in the extremely difficult experiences of life, we can commit our souls to Him in doing good. The old gospel hymn says it this way, Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. Listen, while I am waiting, yielded and still. Are we yielded and still to the creator, to the potter as clay in his hands? Trust in the Lord, both in the good times as well in the, as in the bad. Another song that's sung goes like this, the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. We can trust God when we're on the mountaintop and we can trust God when we're in the valley. And so, this fact ought to make a difference in how we react to whatever experience may come our way. We can understand that God sees what we're going through. God knows what we're going through. God cares. And listen to what He says. I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of good and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Are you the kind of person who sees the glass half empty or half full? I pray that we would be able to see it half full, no matter if things are good or things are difficult, because we know the one who holds us in his hand. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for knowing where we are. Thank you for knowing what we go through. And Father, thank you that you are able to see us through, that your grace is sufficient. Lord, your thoughts toward us are good and not evil, to give us a future and a hope. Lord, may we realize the glass can be full to overflowing if we keep our eyes on you. Encourage someone with your word today. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a great day in the Lord.